help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Nigeria's sham election is a do or die affair. That is why Uzodema ordered men that beat Nigeria Labour Congress chairman, <laughs> black and blue. It almost blinded him. Thank God they did not even kill him because maybe he remembered that a mortuary is filled up in a way. They don't know where to pack him if he dies. So that is why probably they did not kill him. So the guy is uh, um, half alive because they really battered him, battered him. And the community is raising voice, raising eyebrow that this should not be. And this is what the community of that very guy has to say. Listen to this. There is tension in Azala Owala in Emekuku following the surge of policemen and talks on the order of the Imo State Governor, Mr. Hope Uzodema, just hours after assaulting to Pope President of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Mr. Joe Ajero. This development has forced the NLC to call on President Bola Tinubu to reign in Governor of Imo State. Mr. Hope Uzodema, whom it said has moved his occupation force to Azala community after assaulting their son and presence of the NLC, Conrad Joe Ajero. In a statement, NLC Head of Information Conrad Benson Opa said on November 4, 2023, Hope Uzodema invaded Azala Owala in Emekuku Owere, the hometown of Ajero, after assaulting him, allegedly to assassinate him. Hmm, really? He described Hope Uzadima's use of excessive force on those who dare to question his style of governance as nothing but an affront on democracy. The current situation in Imo State is nothing short of a descent, a descent into fascism, where terror takes precedence over reason and dialogue is pushed to the death sidelines. He called on the Inspector General of Police, IGP Ibutokun, to reign in the Imo State Police Commissioner which he said is now being used as instruments of oppression by the governor. He called on IGP to remove the commissioner to prevent impending crisis. He called on the president and eminent Nigerians to speak, in, to speak up to avoid imminent bloodbath. The NLC information preview said the Imo State workers will win irrespective of forces of intimidation, adding that the event of November 1st will guide future interaction with the governor. This is serious. Hope Uzodema is a blood sucker. He is a blood sucker. Like, okay, let's go through the comments. Look at this one. This one said, since Hope, the Supreme Court governor entered into Imo State government house. Imo State has not known peace. It was only in Imo State that a sitting NLC president was beaten in his own hometown since inspection of NLC. And Imo indigents could not protest for a slap on their face on their own. You see why Ibos have been played like football. On the 11th of November, some of you fools will still vote for him for perpetual unrest in Imo. One day record of rice corrected is what you will eat in the next four years. But this is actually true. Hey, how can a sitting governor assault, and assault the president of NLC? It's appalling. Is a slap on the face of Imo State people. And sure and funny enough, many of those youths will still go out there on 11th November to vote for this beast called Hopu Zodima. Let me know, let me remind you of what happened earlier last year during the unknown government, blah, 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 blah. Yes, Ro um, Hope dealt really with emo youths. Youths were slaughtered, youths were murdered. It happened, it's not a say, it's not a hearsay stuff, it's really happened. But from the look of things, you see that not even in our own hometown, emo states. You seriously need to listen to all these things, we know why we are bringing it up. So that that day you will not say, had I known. If anything strebulate hits, then that person must be a somebody that doesn't listen because we are here already before the 11th telling you what to do, how to behave on that very day. If you have nothing to do, please 
go inside your house and sleep. But let me tell you, whether you come out or not, Hopus Adema will win. Understand? Because already the result has been written, everything packaged and kept for him in a cooler. So everything is chilling, counting days. On the 12th of uh, December, of, on the 12th of November, they'll bring it out and announce the result. <laughs> so why will you come and uh, put yourself under the under sun, uh, in the risk and every other thing? Why, if, it, if, it, if it, it will be a very peaceful election, why did you bring uh, all these armored tanks, police, military, and angry men at that? You don't, don't you consider that Opus Odema has planned to, you know, maybe if I get some corpses from some corpses from a uh, morgue and then fill the morgue with new bodies? Please don't allow your body to be among those. If anyone dies in his time or in God's own time, it is better than a beast to kill and dry the person. Opus Odema, everybody knows him. And uh, everybody should run away from him. He is only he only has a Maze Simonet but to combat with. They are the two elephants. He was the one fighting Nandekan of Tooth and Nail, and he was able to buy the OS over sell to sell Nandekano to him. And they did. As you heard that Emma Powerful is now campaigning for Hope Zodema, telling Telling the public that uh, their election should not be rigged, their vote should not be rigged. I wonder where is he coming from and why was he all the while deceiving himself in the name of we are fighting for Biafra, we are with Namdekano and all those blah blah blah. Well, whatsoever goes around comes around. All the things he said has come to pass. Even what he told the sabotage, he said, whether you sabotage this effort or not, Biafra must still come. <laughs> he said, I, him, Nandikan will not be the one to disappoint us, but we will be the ones to disappoint him. And truly, DOS did. DOS did and sold him and collected money and they spent that money, <laughs> thinking that God is a man. God is not a man. What goes around comes around. Whatsoever a man sows, so shall he reap. Stay away from Ozodema. Stay away from Owere. Stay away from the voting centers. Don't go close. Because they have agents. Killer agents. Killer squad is already in Owere. Waiting for who they may devour. Well, that's the news we have for you right now. Urging you to stay glued to this channel. Thank you.